Hello guys, my name is Chili and welcome to my very first YouTube channel. So today I'll be painting Princess Daisy from Super Mario and she's one of my favorite Super Mario character. So yee, I decided to draw Princess Daisy from Super Mario because she is one of my favorite characters, if you already know that. Because I haven't drawn her for a while. So, let's get started painting, shall we? So, I'll be using watercolor and gouache and some little bit of fiber castell private como. She is a very unique character and really fun, and I really love her design. Like, wow, I love her design and whole personality. But originally, I was going to be using some Prismacolor pencil and inking. But somehow I didn't really like it turned out the way. So yeah, that's why. That's why I stick with wash and watercolor because it's very pit in color and opaque. Because I can mix two art mediums as well. It's really fun to paint, but less stressful. I kind of like the very thing of the watercolor paper because it's like so crispy and thick, I should say, or so. Like, it has a beautiful texture of this paper. Oh my, that is so beautiful. I was trying to paint Princess Daisy's hair color. I wasn't sure this is the right color. Her hair is supposed to be like orangey color or so. I think it is. Somehow, I didn't like it how it looks. But I will be able to fix Daisy's hair color in gouache. And when as soon as I'm done, I'm finished with watercolor. So yeah. What's your first for Mario character, you guys? Daisy is actually my favorite character, and Rosalina is my second favorite character, and. Peach is my least favorite, I could say that. So, yep. And also, I forgot to film this on my drawing, and I realized I forgot to press record since I'm a dummy right now. I'm like, bruh, I thought I recorded this. But never mind then. Anyways, since I am done doing some watercolor, now moving on with gouache. This is my best art medium ever. And I really like to mix two colors and blend together how it looks. I honestly love gouache so much because it's the best art medium ever. Because it's very chalky and quality. I love the way it looks. It really reminds me of acrylic mixed with watercolor. So yeah. And also, I'm very sorry about that you guys because I accidentally um, put it, I edited the video of that, the longer video. I wasn't supposed to be because the first one, it was a mistake. And now I had the retake again and now this is better right now. Also, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Cause I'm really new editing and so, and also I'm glad I fixed it again. And also, I'm going to be added Daisy's blushies off her cheeks to make it look pretty and gorgeous. Somehow, I really like how it turned out the blushies. It looks so gorgeous. So yeah. <laughs> Good job, me. Yeah. I actually love Daisy's dress design because from Smash Brother, I think this is very unique and I was like, why not draw this instead? Like this is more like detailed, but tortures as heck. Oh my gosh. 
Like, what have I done? <laughs> oh lord, why? I actually did a good job doing some details of the patterns of Daisy's dress because it has so many details. It was killing me like, oh my gosh, how long has it been taking this so long? I kind of love Daisy's laces too. It has so many details too, you know, like, oh my gosh, again. Well, good job, me. Good job. I kind of like it how it looks. Now I'm going to be adding Daisy's color of her crown, make it more shinier and pretty in the way it is it looks. I honestly love gold watercolor. It looks so gorgeous and pretty. It's like so satisfying though, all the details. Ah, uh, yes, I'm almost done painting with gouache and I'm like, Oh, it's about time to finish this thing. But well, almost there anyway. It took me days to finish this. And also the other thing is, I like to use my hair dryer to keep it dry on my watercolor in my gouache painting. So, to not make it wet on the drawing. It also keeps dry of the paint. So you don't have to wait when it's dry. So yeah. That's a cool life hack though. Again, I'm doing over Daisy's skin tone again and I finally got the correct skin tone and I finally did it. I like it how it turned out with the way it is. And I repaint Daisy's hair color. It's not actually brown, it's actually orangey light, I think. And the uh, final details, I'm going to be adding some Uniball signal to make so deaf to them and added some details to that stuff with highlights, I should say. Lastly, but not least, I'm going to be added some washi tape as well. And I really like the color so well because I'm glad I chose the right color. This perfect. Yes, yeah, Snicker? Come here. Come here, Mama. I was carefully cutting with the X-Acto knife. Somehow I was a little afraid to tear up the watercolor paper, but somehow it didn't even happen. It didn't even tear off though. I'm kind of surprised it didn't ruin it though. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just petting Snickers. I really wanted to do more washi tape for it in the future. Soon I can do this more often again. It's so fun to play with. So here's the final result of Princess Daisy of the fan art. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah. And also about that, I kind of like how it turned out. I think this is, must be my favorite drawing. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.